Да, алло. Да, привет. Ну, у меня есть э, чел, который сейчас э, застрял в Москве после шелкового пути. Он вообще камеру очень круто держит. Давай, э, ну, короче, вы с ним в Екатеринбурге встретитесь и на завод поедете. Ну, не вопрос, не вопрос. А кто он? Больше. Он, ну, или Матюля работает, он часто снимает, там, на Дакаре со мной был, и вот шелковый, шелковый путь, ралли снимает с ним. Давай. Понятно. А его как зовут? А, Бартак. Бартак его зовут. Вот. Давай я сейчас тебе его номер скину, и дальше... Да, давай, не вопрос. Last July I was contracted to film the Silkway Rally in Russia and Mongolia. The rally was cancelled halfway through and I ended up stranded in lockdown Moscow with not much to do. When Anton Malyshev of Motul Russia invited me to do a motorbike trip across the Ural region, I didn't give it a second thought. Привет. Two bikes, three guys, 1400 kilometers and no plan at all. What can possibly go wrong? Okay, we need to start the day with a good breakfast. Завтрак. We have a perfect place for it, so we could sit here and wait for Anton. Anton was actually waiting for us already having his breakfast. What the hell? You <laughs> <laughs> mm, Bartek. <laughs> <laughs> How the hell are you here? You gotta be here in two hours. Uh... He told us the place was the best diner in the vicinity of Ural factory. He also said that their bikes might not be assembled yet. Both facts came as a shock to me. Is it Yegor? Yes, he's waiting for us. Let's go. What's, what's up with our bikes? I have no idea. I don't know. Since Wednesday, I have no calls from here. I have no pictures of my bike either. The last picture was it with the two woods with the sidecar, right? Yeah. A few months back, Anton and Dima took part in a grueling expedition to the infamous Dyatlov Pass. This is how Anton's bike looked upon arrival. There is some ingenious eco-friendly engineering in there. But jokes aside, it seems very possible that the bikes aren't ready for our trip. The dust breaks showing you the path you're on Full of snakes from the past that you're running from You're running from Moving shadows that follow the moonlit road To the horizon's edge that you're running from I had to admit, in person, those bikes look stunning. I could totally understand the childish grin stuck to Dmitri's face. This is my new baby. Baby boy. That's beautiful. Igor, где мой? No. Ты же помнишь, как ты на нём приехал? Я помню. Плюс тут ещё Диме успевали собирать быстрее мотоцикл новый, который он заказал. Поэтому стрим немножко тут чуть-чуть не получилось. Ну пойдём покажу. Ты говорил? Поэтому как-то так. Ты очень, ты очень сильно его сломал. У нас есть день, мы сможем собрать. Да? Three weeks in Russia is not enough time to fully embrace Russian sense of humor. Все, 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 все. Не смотри на это. Крепись. Это то же самое, блин. Капец. Я вот этим бревном вот... At that point, the guys started discussing the possibility of assembling Anton's bike on the spot. And they weren't joking. But fortunately, the Ural guys were. Anton's bike was ready and looking better than ever. 
нас нет возможности на одном ехать. Да мы устанем, в конце концов. Ты же когда-то хотел и... такой? О, -о, 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 О, я ж хотел Бургундию. Дести... Ты что, реально перекрасил? Да. Да хорош. Да. Вообще кайф, прям. Пипец. Это мой мотик. Да. Это мои ключи. Вот где мотор, да? Finally, it was time to prepare the bikes and do some last-minute shopping. There is the QR code here. Yeah, and the website. So, by the way, it's me. Uh, on the Dyatlov Pass, there is some more things, but what is important that there is the um, uh, all of the products mentioned here. So if you will forget about what kind of engine oil, you basically can, can, can be connected with the material website and you will see all of the recommended products and even MC Care, you see? One of the most epic pieces of motorcycle art in the world. After saying bye to Igor, we left Irbit behind. Nivyansk, Nizhny Tagil, Kushwa. We still had to do 300 kilometers that day. So we are in a place called uh, Kushwa. Uh, we are here because uh, my parents from this uh, city and uh, I, would, I was never even close to this place. You've never been here? It's your never. first time? Yeah. yeah. Really? Uh, this place um, called and uh, was established because of the uh, iron uh, here in these mountains. So they start digging it and uh, they established this, uh, this city, I think, in nine. It's like 300 years ago, so it's like 1700, 17. oh, yeah, right. something like that. And it was the, the, the guy called Demidov who started digging all of these mountains to find something for making the iron or stainless steel or whatever. So that's one of that city, this type of cities. And my parents live there, somewhere on the, on the central street. Can we go and see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You it's, know, you know the address. Yeah, yeah. I found uh, my uh, my father kind of a uh, book he wrote about his really? life. Yeah, and uh, I found it found it just recently, so I know exact place. So it's not written like the the address, but uh, it seems to be like in the city center, near some theater or something. 
So we went on looking for the house of Anton's parents. A task we wouldn't been able to accomplish without the help of some friendly locals. One of these two buildings, uh, it's the place where my father lived, of course. It's a pure Soviet. <laughs> Soviet Union style, and all of these, all of these buildings, really ancient, like no, really this old. Is, this is definitely pre-revolution. This eight, is 19th eight, eight, century, early 20th century, but pre-revolution. 18 pre something. Yep. And this one is like, like 1920s. Yes, this is 20s, 30s. So I need to make a picture. Finally. <laughs> Perfect proportion. One kilo of tushonka and three bags of and three little bags <laughs> of breshka. Bonfire, good company, good food, a definite highlight of the day that couldn't be ruined even by the fact that we are drinking water from uranium polluted river. and uh, Asiatska, the, the, the point on the map here, where there is the official line. This is the official line. This kind of official <laughs> line, yeah. It's like, a, it's like a Russian equator, Russian kind of equator. We don't have the real one, but we decided we need to have some of it. So how you feel there in Europe? Perfect. And how you feel there in Asia? Wild. <laughs> <laughs> Market, stop filming. Eat. Cottage won't eat itself. We had a quick breakfast of cottage cheese and raspberries at a trucker bar and attracted some attention of the locals. Everybody knew Ural bikes from the past. Nobody had any idea they were still being produced. It's amazing how wild and untamed the nature is around here. The forests are never ending, the rivers stretch for thousands of kilometers, and the boats. The boats are turbocharged. Lucky to be in the uh, most depressive, most depressive uh, place in Perm region. Mm -hmm. So it used to be one of the biggest coal mining town, but now all the mines are done; they're destroyed. So people here just uh, survive because they work on the railroad. It's sad that it's a city of 
alcoholism and crime. So we stopped in a proper place for a dinner. But the dinner was excellent. Yeah, except, exceptional. I will say that's uh, for 12 euro. 12 so euro. Three yeah. people, four people, because we also feed the young boy. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the quality of food just, you was, know. Was perfect. And I will say the price is real. It's the real price of the food. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's true price. That's uh, how it should be. Yeah. There was no particular plan for this trip apart from a few destinations and a deadline in the form of my flight back home. At this point we were supposed to be halfway through and we still had hundreds of kilometers of relatively challenging terrain ahead of us. I was stressing out just a little bit. My Russian friends were not. We'll ride this road forever with the wind in our head With the hot tarmac beneath us under the moon And I look into your eyes and I see something I like I've known you forever, we've been friends all our lives And we'll take this world before us, yeah, we're hungry tonight Cause we're destined to love and we are destined to ignite And we're gonna see our names up in our lives Your goal to be on 23rd in the airport, right? You will be there. Because, well, just everything will be fine. I'll tell you a story shouted above the road of our engines as we ride. You know we've both been here before. There was a night I won't forget. A night that changed everything. A night we taught our hearts to sing. To ride 88 kilometers to Malepka. My phone said 81, so okay. Uh, and then it will be right like uh, around one hour. And then there will be. Be honest, it's more than one hour because last 25 kilometers is gravel or off-road. We don't we don't know exactly, but. Uh, <laughs> so by all, by all means, we will be there around one. Actually, so the, 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 those guy told us that there are. All, all, all those all those villages before Malevka are abandoned, and the only one we can can meet is uh, Bear. <laughs> like this Bear information on the is actually no. we gotta we gotta start because at least one and a half or two hours of uh -huh. ride is uh, ahead, and not the easiest road probably. Yeah, and we need to put the tent, uh, so it will be another twenty or thirty minutes. So yeah, I'm getting better in putting tents. So.
We were in the Molepka Triangle, a place well known among UFO seekers that had its fair deal of paranormal activities taking place here. We visited Valery, who knows everything about the paranormal nature of this place. He also runs a hostel for UFO freaks from all around the world. I don't speak Russian well, so I couldn't understand the details. I got the general sense though, also Dimas and Anton's expressions told me a lot. So we've been staying somewhere here. Yeah. So this is the place where all this could be seen. But the main part, like the most sacred part, is right there. And we are going, we are going straight there. Valery told about some time corridor. So probably, if we will be correct, then maybe we can go two days back, so we will be in Moscow in time in this case. Valery and his wife took us for a walk to a sacred hill known to have some sort of power. I could totally feel it, the power of nature, and it's bloody epic. I made it back to Yekaterinburg a few hours before my flight. The bikes, after a proper run-in, got well-deserved and premium service. that awkward feeling when four days feel more like a year? For me, this is the very definition of quality time. Type of time that creates the most valuable experiences, the strongest friendships and the strangest desires. I never even considered a bike with a sidecar before. Now I want one. 